Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate MailChimp with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at MailChimp.com or log in to your existing account. Uh, once we are here on our dashboard of the account that I uh, created, let's go to the left sidebar and click on the integrations like this. And as you can see, there are some integrations that you can uh, integrate straight away, like Facebook, Google, SurveyMonkey, and Twitter. Uh, if you want to check out for more integrations, for example, like Salesforce, we have to go through automate.io. I will leave the link in the descriptions underneath this video. Once we are at automate.io, let's go to integrations, click on integrations, and go to CL categories on the bottom left part of your screen. Right now, uh, we have to address the first app that we are going to integrate, which is MailChimp. Once the MailChimp is in here, let's go uh, with its counterpart, which is Salesforce. As you can see, there's a couple of popular integrations, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down and uh, you get to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with MailChimp. So let's go with the first one. And on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with Salesforce. I'm just sticking to the first one, but you can pick the one that you need, obviously. Right now, we just have to click on Try It Now, and we'll get redirected, and uh, you'll get asked to log in to your automate.io account. And you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is very uh, similar application to uh, Automate, but uh, provides maybe uh, more or less the same options with triggers. So once we create account at Zapier as well, let's go to the top left corner and click on create a Zap. Once we're here, we want to set up a trigger, same as at Automate. So let's go with MailChimp. Now let's choose an event. Uh, so pick from all those um, options, click continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created like this, continue. And now uh, we can test our trigger. On the second action, as you probably thought, we have to go with a Salesforce. Action event will be one of those five. So I'm sticking with the first one. And the last thing is you have to log in to your Salesforce account. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.